And here Ian Gagan pulling into the pits. Ian Gagan is in the pits. There's some trouble there. So Gagan might be out of this race. Gagan in the pits, and we have a change of order. Neil Allen has gone to the front, and in second place is Brian Curley in the Morris Cooper S, and in third place is Bob Jane, also in the Ford Mustang. So Gagan, after starting on about the fourth line of the grid, went through to take up first place. He held that lead for about uh, two or three laps, and now uh, at the end of the fourth lap, Gagan is in the pits, obviously out of the race. The leader now is Neil Allen, Car number three, also the Ford Mustang, and the tiny puff Brian Foley in the Morris Cooper S has moved into second place, with Bob Kane in car number two back in third place. But Ian Gagan is going back into the race, is it? No, it's the pits are in the race. Now he's into the pits. Yes. So Ian Gagan is a withdrawal, so it's definitely now Neil Allen in front of Brian Foley with Bob Jane in third place. With me now is Bill Bryce, and what a clash is this, Bill, between these giant Mustangs and the tiny Morris Cooper S. Yes, this seems to be old Brian Foley's way of life now, battling up against his Mustang. He bought the car from New Zealand for a couple of races over there for the New Zealand Grand Prix meeting, and there's a lot of smoke or dust coming out there as they're clipping up through the edges, but um, and he had some great battles over there with the New Zealand, and he did extremely well indeed. Neil Allen, I saw him drive last week, a very forceful driver, I feel, one that's uh, very, very got a, a sort of a big right foot, let's say, he really puts it down. Um, could be at a little bit of a disadvantage once again, but doesn't seem to worry um, Ian Geegan, this left-hand drive business around this very tight circuit. But here's a fine shot of Foley. Brian Foley from New South Wales going extremely well in the little mini, and he's really hanging it onto the, onto the um, door handles as he sits sail down along through here. The car immaculately prepared. Look at that, he's really getting that rear wheel. This is a mini trait. This is where you see that right rear wheel lift up off the ground. And here he goes again, a change of direction. Look, making it look very, very easy indeed, but this car traveling very, very fast. As you can see the way, look at it coming through the corner there, really powering it on. In, in um, Britain, Norman, when the, the two works drivers get going in these John Rhodes and John Handy, they really hang them on and the smoke gushes up from the front wheels as they're a front wheel drive car. And here they are in the creek corner. And the official margin after five laps between the two was only 1.1 seconds. Third place is number two, Bob Jane, also in the Ford Mustang. And he's followed closely by the two of Morris Cooper S's, number 11, P. Barnes, and number 12, B.A. Jones. But these two out in front have quite a big lead over the third car and tremendous interest for the huge crowd here in this David Goliath battle between car number three, the big Ford Mustang, and the tiny tot Morris Cooper S. And in practice, Brian Foley had the fastest time. He recorded 145.6 to Neil Allen's 146.4. As they sit sail into Apollo, there's Alan clipping the edges. Foley using the full power now, and he's right onto it. The little mini, front wheel drive, 1300 cc's. And look at uh, Brian's habit. He does this all the time. He gets to a corner, he'll look right out the window. That's a, that's a characteristic he has. He makes these corners where he might have restricted vision on the right hand side. And he actually sticks his head at time out the window, particularly on Creek Corner, to look right down at his front. Ooh. But just in the change of direction there, you see the car come round very, very viciously indeed. This is the, the limit slip diff working, of course, as the weight goes. Oh, he spun it. Yes, he was going very nicely held. Look at this. He's still got it on the island, still on the track, sorting things out now in a big way. No, he's out of the car. Something's obviously wrong. I think something is probably broken in it, else he would have kept going. It was a very nice spin. You can see the car spinning in its own length there as he set sail. Things very, very wild down there now. The yellow flags will be waved, the caution flag, and the marshals are running out to help Brian Foley. But uh, that was bad luck indeed. Something is obviously broken. Well, through goes car number three on the screen, and this is Bob Jane in the Mustang V8. Quite a way back now from uh, Neil Allen, and he'll have to take up the chase. Car number two, the Mustang dominated. Australian, as everywhere else in the world, uh, this type of regulations for saloon car racing, very, very fast indeed. In fact, it's quite a pity to see the retirement of Ian Egan.
So this may well be the survival of the fittest. We've seen two of the top four have drawn so far. Uh, one to the pits and then spin by Brian Foley. So this is going to be last distance. Bob Jane who dropped that four. They suddenly finds himself running second. Now the important thing is Neil Allen, how's he going out in front? And knowing what happened to the car behind him, we see that he might have just clipped the fence there. Yes, I think so, Norman. I think he just clipped it. If not, he was very, very close to it. Here's the leader. Neil Allen coming through with the front looking a little bad. There's the stoplights going on. He's taking two stabs at the braking. You can see the car coming up on the suspension travel and setting down. It sits down on the tail as he puts the power in. And they're still pushing Brian Foley off the circuit. As away he goes now, they're getting him out of the way. It's through clipping the dust indeed. In fact, I think one of the, mar uh, the markers there was Neil Allen. Coming through there very, very quickly indeed. Into the, out of the shadows, he comes now and really hurtles it down along the straight. There's a the fine shot of it going in onto the braking area now. You'll see it swinging around to the right in the very, very quick creek corner, setting it up. As you can see, look at the turn there you have to do. You have to come out, then get it all the way from the car, then turn onto the outside, then back onto the other side. And so here it is once again, lifting up, setting it up through the corner very nicely indeed. Martin Mark with these big Mustangs, a tremendous uh, pressure on the suspension and on the tyres because the body sway is like running the wheel with that. Uh, the way they carve uh, right across from one side to the other, particularly in this area of the course as they approach the causeway. Yes, they're very, very much tied down. That, that suspension is very, very tight and very hard. But as you can still see, the, the picture we're getting is very good indeed because it's showing all the stresses going on there on those outside pumps. As the car goes through this terrific little power's on there, you see. He'd come off the brakes, back onto the power. You see the stoplights on, the nose is dipping, cutting the apex of the corner. Good start at these, at these. Very, very comfortable, I would say, at this stage. And there's the nose lifting again as it really puts the power on through the back wheel. Big wide wheels on these Mustangs, as big as, as the single-seater racing cars, actually. And here it is, flashing into view. Nice line through the corner. And right on the power, you can hear the V8 echoing out through now as through he goes, car number three, Neil Allen. And his gap over the second car, which is Bob Jane, well, it's probably about three or four hundred yards now, something like 15 seconds. Uh, due to the excitement with uh, Brian Foley, we've just uh, miscounted. We're watching the park of the course town here with a black and white flag. I think there'll be less than two laps to go. This may well be the last lap, but I think there are maybe two laps to go because of the spin there. We just uh, didn't keep check of the exact number of laps. But the leader is giving a great exhibition now, Neil Allen, and he's not slackening down at all because he's maintaining his lead. That looks like the second car uh, just up in the straight now. And that's a fair way. That straight's a mile long. And our camera is showing that mile-long straight. Well, uh, half a mile is a long way to be behind with only a couple of laps to go. It's the darker car is Bob Jane, the Ford Mustang, also car number two. And this is him now in second place. But, of course, the leader, car number three, Neil Allen, who would be a quarter of a mile and a half a mile ahead. Doesn't seem to be handling as good as Alan's car. There's Jane with the wow, he's really at the tail out that time. Really trying to get these, just catching it. In fact, if you look very carefully into the car itself, you can see him working very furiously there off the power and getting the correction. Here's a fine shot. Look into the car and you can see Neil Allen there, right in the corner, working away furiously, just clipping through the edges, and he'll come out now for the right-hander. There he is, setting it out here, a little late on his entry into the corner. You see where he's getting it, he's hitting the apex of the corner about 10 yards too deep. He should be over on the other side there a little quicker and he can come up through and make a deeper line through the corner indeed. But still, he's getting through them very rapid indeed as he comes around into the main street now. Accelerating down through here, the nose lifting once again. There he is, changing gear as we go into the right hander. No braking that time, so he must be easing it off just a little bit. Not trying, doesn't have to try as hard as possible. Good shot, coming through, using right out to the left hand to go through the right hander. There he is, swinging into at the back of the picture there, sweeping up past some of the slower minis, and he'll gobble them all up with that big nose of the Mustang. Comes on, this is a good shot coming down the road now. He's filling up the screen. There's Neil Allen and the Mustang. And the clerk of the course has taken out the checkered flag, so that suggests that this is the last lap of this 10-lap race over 22 and a half miles. So the checkered flag is out as car number three, Neil Allen, the Fort Mustang V8, has about half a lap to go. He's going over near the northern crossing, the second of the two crossings across the race course on this Warwick Farm circuit. 
He's approaching that now, and he's got those two slower ones up ahead. Will he catch them? He probably will, before the lap is over. And now there's the Northern Crossing, so he comes into the causeway, sweeps round Carlow Corner, up the ledger, and down the straight to finish the race. The officials are waiting down here with the checkered flag out, waiting for him to see him. And he has to keep this car going. He's a long way in front. Second placing at the moment is number two, Bob Jane, also in the Ford Mustang V8. Yes, well there he is, he's looking for a gap through two. Now those black, those white stripes on the back denote that these are newcomers to international motor racing or newcomers to racing and they spread apart to let Alan go through. He had to take his choice there. Uh, possibly a little dangerous manoeuvre if these drivers didn't know he was behind. But obviously when they split, they did see him. And through he comes now and he will get the checkered flag now. Down the, the finishing straight. Welcome sight indeed to any driver speeding through on a race and we're looking now for the second car and it's just coming around into the straight and the checkered flag will be held out for Bob Jane going through in car number two. Third car we're looking for now. Coming into view, the whole field being flagged off. But it would be Meehan, it would be Trevor Meehan in a Morris Cooper who goes extremely quick too. Let's have the official result then, or the unofficial result, which should be official, of this touring car race, Division 1. First was car number 3, Neil Allen, the Ford Mustang V8. Second, car number 2, Bob Jane, also in the Ford Mustang V8. And third was car at number 14, Terry Meehan, in the, the Morris Cooper S. That was the result of the touring car race for Division 1 cars here at Warwick Farm.